I was actually an ensign back when this tragedy occurred in 1980. The Coast Guard Cutter Blackthorn was attached right to us, but I got to know a lot of those guys because go out and play basketball together, go out and have a beer, whatever. And I got to know quite a few of them, and that's why I'm here today. They're still friends. I was on the Icebreaker Glacier. We were probably close to arriving in the Gerdo down in Antarctica. And so you can imagine being half a world away how much of a shock it was to us. It wasn't until we got back several months later that we really grasped the full magnitude of this tragedy. It's good to know that Tampa Bay has not forgotten them. No, they have not. And we have a great turnout here all the time. Every year we do this, it's a fantastic turnout. It gets bigger and bigger. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to come down here. It's the first exit past the toll booth as you're heading southbound on US 19 or what would be toward the Skyway Bridge. There's a huge memorial, there's a huge monument here, and it's well taken care of all the time. Many of you know the story of Seaman Apprentice William Billy Flores, a crew member aboard Blackthorn who had recently reported from recruit training. Instead of abandoning ship and swimming to safety after the collision, Seaman Flores remained aboard to assist other crew members who were injured or trapped. He went on to his station at the life jacket locker and used his belt to secure the door open so life jackets would float to the surface for his shipmates as the vessel sank. When Cutter Blackthorn slipped Beneath the surface, Seaman Apprentice Flores went down with her. We honor his heroism and memory with our newest fast response cutter, the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter William Flores, WPC 1103. I will tell you, as a 34-year veteran, I am the beneficiary of the lessons of the Black Thorn, Thorn tragedy. And in replaying the tapes all the way back to 1980 on the Cutter Glacier, I think our focus on readiness and proficiency is much stronger today. The Coast Guard is better for it, our people are better for it, our service to the nation is better for it.